obsolescence. There's a planned obsolescence to technology, so the old becomes trash really quickly. How do you reclaim and make something beautiful out of something that has been thrown away or discarded? So this exhibit is Currents 118, Elias Sime. Elias Sime is a really important international African artist, and he's been working for several decades on this project. The overarching title of these modular collages is tightrope, and he views these objects as kind of walking a tightrope between nature and technology, between the man-made and the natural world, between you know, the everyday and the kind of sublime that these large-scale artworks create. Several of the works are brand new and made for the show, including two sculptures. In December of 2019, Elias came to St. Louis to visit the art museum and to see the space for the exhibition. And the one site he really wanted to go see immediately upon landing in the city was the Cahokia Mounds. He's very interested in the history of built environments, of forms and land. He was really inspired by two things, by the actual form and shape of these historic Native American mounds and the culture around them. But also we were there in December and it was a oddly warm day for St. Louis in December. It was about 60 degrees. So we really got to stand outside and appreciate it, but it was a winter landscape. So the browns and the greens and this kind of earth tones really spoke to him. And he went back to Ethiopia and started on these two sculptures, which he had never done this form before, and he'd never really done these sculptures with the woven wire specifically that he uses in his two-dimensional work. Sime's studio is based in the capital city of Addis Ababa, and he sources all of the materials that he uses for his artworks from an open-air market called the Mercado, and it's the largest open-air market in Africa. And one of the types of objects that people trade in is technological refuse. It's out-of-date technological elements, computer keyboards, cell phones, motherboards. So you can see that all the materials are kind of the insides of computers or cell phones. You see wires from telephones or you know, different kind of attachments within electronic materials that have been woven and braided. There's also broken and soldered motherboards. There's full keyboards that are cut. He views these technological items or technological refuse as really indicative of global communications. And he's thinking about this in multiple ways. One is technology connects us across the world, very literally. It allows for global kind of interconnection. But there's also a lot that comes from that interconnection, mediated conversations through technology, which more and more become a part of our daily life. The ambivalence towards the environment that mass amounts of technology really produce. Um, and he's really commenting in many ways on the world that is globalizing through this use of technological materials. And he thinks of his project very much as reclaiming and reusing and producing a new set of circumstances for things that have otherwise been left to the history bins of technology. So you look at it and you see the materiality and you recognize it, but you also see a landscape. You see flowing water, you see wisps of smoke or icebergs made out of computer keyboards. And so it allows for these objects to function both almost theoretically in terms of their original meaning, but in this new form as an artwork that also plays into the history of art, of landscape, of modernism, of abstraction.